welcome all participants of the Humboldt Colleg. My name is Ivo Bialenicki Birula. I have the honor to chair the first session, and Gediminas has chosen me, presumably because I am the oldest participant of this colleague. And I, we have a long list of people that will appear on the podium. The first, according to the schedule, is the rector of the Vilnius University, Arturas Juraskas. So, dear colleagues, uh, dear physicists, on behalf of the community of Vilnius University, I'm very glad to host you and to welcome you at Vilnius University. And it's a great pleasure for our university to host the Humboldt Collect controlling quantum matter from ultra cold atoms to solids. The, 20, the 21st century probably will become the century of quantum technologies and research and engineering is this, in this field, of course, is very important. More widely, uh, physics is still uh, presenting us a lot of amazing discovering on the huge scale of dimensions and time, also on the scale of the complexity of the systems from a single particle to, to highly complex systems like condensed matter. And uh, for me, as for former physicists, now I'm just <laughs> a manager, it's, it's a big pleasure to host such a conference. And I would like to uh, wish you a good conference, also to wish you to may, make acquaintance with our university, one of the oldest universities in Europe, which is counting already 440 years history. And I believe that the conference will be successful. Also, I believe that uh, considering uh, very low temperatures will help us to mitigate this you know, very, very high temperatures in, in the street. And uh, I, I suppose that this will be a nice conference, especially in such hot, hot uh, days here in Vilnius. Thank you. Our next speaker is the ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany to Lithuania, Angelika Fitz. Can I do this? Okay. Um, dear Mr. Jukaukas, um, distinguished guests, sehr geehrte liebe Humboldtianer, it's a great honor to welcome you here at the theater hall of the old uh, Vilnius University. As the rector mentioned, one of the oldest uh, universities in Middle Europe on the occasion of the Humboldt College. <clears throat> From the invitation, I understand that this is the first Humboldt College in Lithuania. So I particularly congratulate you on this initiative, uh, which will consolidate the network of Humboldtians working in the field of quantum physics enjoying the support of the Alexander of Humboldt Foundation, which is partly funded by my federal foreign office. Bringing together leading international scientists, Humboldtians working on the same specialized topic is a particularly fruitful way for advancing science. This happens in the spirit of Alexander von Humboldt, whose 250th birthday will be celebrated next year. He traveled to distant lands, wrote thousands of letters, thus cultivating, even then, under more difficult conditions, contacts with researchers around the world. I don't know if he traveled to Lithuania, but at least his brother William did, and left a paper on reforming the Lithuanian school curriculum. Alexander's legacy for us is in a world where states, economies, societies, and cultures are intimately intertwined, we can only solve the great problems of our time together. What we need in science as well as in politics is exchange and cooperation across the borders. 
This is what happens here today and this week. The topic is controlling quantum matter from ultra-cold atoms to solids. Even though math and physics were my favorite subjects in school and also the best ones, I admit that I, of course, have hardly any idea about the matter of your interest the next days. My secondary school formation ended somehow between the discovery of the fourth and the fifth quark. But at least I did some internet research for this morning and learned why cold quantum matter is actually hot stuff and quantum physics delivers important contributions to understanding the ultra-cold and ultra-hot behavior of matter. In a very different sense, that is what political experts and observers can reach in this focal region as well. The Second World War and then almost 50 years of Soviet occupation and terror in Lithuania until the end of the Cold War can still be felt. The deep distrust of the neighbor Russia is ever present in politics and society, setting also the parameter for NATO's and member states' political and security agenda here. The Humboldt Collect takes place in the middle of Lithuania's centenary celebrations. On February 16, 1918, Lithuania restored its former independence. This year sees very many high-level events, started in January with handing over the so-called independence document found in the political archives of the Federal Foreign Office for a lending period of five years, then the visit of our federal president in February, and several more very high-ranking visits to come until the end of the year, and over 1,000 nationwide events expressing, expressing a Lithuanian joy and pride of their nationhood. Lithuania has just become the 36th member of the OECD, thus joining the group of the most advanced countries. This will open up new opportunities for their scientists, business people, and also the young people to draw on global experience and contribute to innovation and future technologies. The European Commission has confirmed that Lithuania has a very good research and innovation development. Its innovation performance has increased by an average of 2.6% over the past eight years. This puts this Baltic country well above the EU average of 1.7. The main drivers of Lithuania's strong performance were the high number of graduates and postgraduate students, as well as the study expansion of knowledge-intensive industries. With these few remarks on your host country, I would like to welcome you again and underline that we are very pleased to have the Humboldt colleague in Vilnius. Thank you very much. Having the representative of the Federal Republic of Germany in the audience, I would like to express my appreciation. I think I also speak in the name of many Humboldt awardees and Humboldt fellows who benefited a lot from this program that was very, very useful and provided a lot of good spirits in the evolution of our fields. And I think this is one of very few organizations, foundations of that type that operate so fruitfully. The next speaker is the former rector of the University of Latvia, neighboring country. Uh, good morning, everybody. Your Magnificency, Rector of University of Vilnius, Your Excellency, Ambassador for Germany to uh, Lithuania, uh, dear colleagues and dear friends. Uh, usually people who uh, are asked to address audience at the opening of conference are somehow involved in organization of this conference, in sponsoring, hosting, uh, organizing conference. 
Uh, in my case, I am not involved in any sense in organization of this conference. And so probably I am speaking uh, at this opening ceremony on behalf of all the attendees of this conference. And uh, it makes uh, and gives me opportunity actually to thank uh, everybody who was involved in organization. Uh, first of all, of course, uh, Humboldt Foundation. I guess that many of us have, have in, uh, enjoyed in different uh, stages of our, our career, excellent and very uh, kind of um, uh, touching and very personal support from uh, Humboldt Foundation. Then, of course, Vilnius University, who is uh, hosting us uh, in such nice uh, old university with, with all this kind of spirit which we can uh, uh, feel even when we are uh, getting to this uh, lecture ho hall. And, of course, uh, I would like to thank all the practical organizers, and first of all, Gediminas. I guess that everybody of us has uh, uh, received many, many emails from uh, him very kind of uh, thought over and uh, we felt even when we arrived yesterday that we are, uh, that people are caring about uh, us. And actually uh, many of us have been involved in different organizations of conferences and uh, I guess at the very first moment when you are arriving at, at the conference uh, you can tell how well it's organized or sometimes may maybe not so well. For this conference, from uh, the moment when we uh, arrived yesterday, I guess we got a feeling that um, people are caring about us and everything is absolutely uh, excellently organized. Thank you very much for that. And, uh, and finally, maybe very few words about uh, Humboldt Foundation in, in uh, general. Uh, actually, when I first got in touch with Humboldt Foundation many years ago, my first feeling was that I'm uh, getting involved in some uh, kind of uh, private foundation. Why I am telling that? Because when we are dealing with different uh, state organizations, starting from the European Commission in Europe, my colleagues from the United States probably can refer to National Science Foundation, usually feeling is that it's a little bit uh, kind of uh, formal, a little bit uh, bureaucratical, especially in Europe now we are complained a lot about European Commission, different projects that they are getting too bureaucratical. Uh, when we are dealing with Humboldt Foundation, it's always uh, very personal, always very uh, efficient. We are always uh, feeling that we are uh, speaking about science and doing science, not doing uh, bureaucratic stuff. And I think that uh, I can speak on behalf of all of us that we, uh, in many uh, occasions during many years, can have enjoyed this support for, for Humboldt Foundation. For many of us, it was a uh, big advancement in our careers and for some of us even starting point for a profession, professional career in uh, our fields and in this particular case in physics. And I think that we are really grateful for that to uh, Humboldt Foundations. And very, very final, I wish uh, all of us to, to us very fruitful con uh, conference. We saw that we will have excellent talks and very interesting talks. But maybe on top of that, I am wishing that we will have long, long coffee breaks. And why I'm saying that? Because all we know is that very often most important things in conference are happening during social events, during coffee breaks. This is when new uh, friendships are formed, maybe some, some new projects are uh, started, and this is a kind of important part of the conferences. And when we are uh, Humboldtians here, we always felt like a family, and this is kind of a moment when we, we can improve our family ties even uh, further. Thank you. to invite the two organizers, Gediminas and Maciej, so that we can express our thanks to them for organizing this wonderful meeting. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> So, thank you very much, and uh, Her Excellency German Ambassador in Lithuania, Your Excellency Rector, dear colleagues and friends, it is a, a great pleasure to welcome all of you at uh, Humboldt Collect on Controlling Quantum Matter from Ultra Cold Atoms to Solids. 
It is the first Humboldt collect of this kind, not the first Humboldt collect in Lithuania, because we had in 2010 Humboldt collect, which was called uh, some science and society in modern Europe, which accommodated all Humboldtians, uh, science, uh, social science, and so on. And this is more uh, focused, Humboldt Collect. And since it is focused, we managed, and we are very grateful for many experts to come. Actually, here is, I would say, even a major conference uh, on uh, ultra-cold atoms, this Humboldt Collect, judging of people who came here. And uh, therefore, and uh, I see in the program that there will be not only very many, also brand new results, which is very important for the conference. Also, coffee breaks is important issue. And uh, I'm uh, very grateful for, uh, first of all, Humboldt Foundation for approving our colleague and uh, for providing support, which is essential. And we are very grateful to Vilnius University, which was very uh, helpful in organizing collects. So it's lots of support from, uh, Humbo, uh, from Vilnius University. Also help, uh, grateful for other sponsors. Uh, I would like to thank Maciek, uh, who was always, I kept, uh, felt that he's next to me and I could always advise him and uh, get the help. So it was <coughs> very, very, good and also organizing different things it was a very good help uh, also many thanks to advisors um, uh, who advised us to in different aspects of collect so it was we did not feel alone in like sorting out what is the program and so on and uh, one of the adv advisors came here Zora Shlapnikov very thankful that he came and uh, a special thanks uh, to local organizers, and I would count them, five local organizers, or count my fingers, Majena Moskowitz, Sinkevicene, Algirdas Mekis, Mantas Rachunas, uh, Julius Rusatskas, and Elena Tamulene. So we organizers have special badges like this. If uh, you need the help, look for a person like this, and we will do our best to, to help you. Yeah, and... Uh, the finally, thank you all of you for coming and making this collect. I wish our Humboldt collect a great success. Thank you very much. So I would like to welcome you here in Vilnius. And I would like to say that uh, there was, there is, and there will be one and only one chairman of this uh, Humboldt collect who, who has done all the job. My role was negligible. The only thing that I can propose for now, if anything goes wrong, blame it on me, please. I wish you a very fruitful Humboldt colleague. <laughs>